so as you can probably hear, there is work going on downstairs. Which, uh, is the main floor of this building. I'm upstairs in what will most likely be an Airbnb. <laughs> anyway, I am learning the power of a grinder today. So I have been tipping away at this damn chimney <laughs> in here. Um, I was actually just working on some sanding and this is the bathroom. It's an old claw foot tub. Um, this little space looked awful when we first bought it and it was so cramped and we weren't sure what to do and it's kind of out in the hallway and I actually think that the space works really well now. Oh, doggone it, I left my coffee in here. Okay, so um, this chimney had been all covered up by plaster and I was kind of working on sanding a couple spaces on it and uh, uh, the plaster came off, and I realized that it actually was the chimney under there. So then we started exposing the brick, and um, there's a lot of plaster left over in certain places, and I've just been trying to figure out how to get it off. And I went and bought kind of a mini grinder wheel today. Um, not even a grinder, but started working away at it. If I could show you the before and after, and I will, but. Uh, Casey just went and bought me an actual grinder for this. And the speed at which I'm gonna be able to get this done now went from about a full day, maybe, to probably another half hour. So I'm super excited. There it is on the floor. 30 bucks at a local tractor supply company. Do you love the plumbing on the shower right now? <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be a really cool space. And I just, Grinder, the grinder, there's a power in the, there's power in that. In getting major projects done like this. So for any of you out there that don't typically do home improvement projects or commercial improvement projects or um, just want to tackle something different and fun and you need to really uh, get some material off of whatever it is you're working on, there you go.